Howdy everyone, welcome back to Other Decorations. Today we're back in the shop working on the 1967 Jacobs and Chief. As you see right beside me, my buddy Hard Knock Motors is here. He's here today to help me with the Jacobs it and also work on his chopper build. You guys will be seeing that in the video. So, and, and again, I apologize for the late video I'm trying here. I apologize about that. So, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, we are finished up with Hard Knock Moto's uh, chopper build there. I'll show you guys that so you guys get a little glimpse. And if you guys want to see more of that build, go to his channel, Hard Knock Moto's. You'll find him on YouTube and I'll put his YouTube channel down in the description. But anyways, let's get back to the Jacobson. So today in the shop, we are going to be taking this frame and stretching it. I figure we get more of a design if we make the frame longer. We can make a glove box, fit a big, bigger battery, whatever else, right? So we're going to take the frame, cut it right here, stretch it. And while Hard Knock Motors is working on the frame, I'm going to work on the front hood and get that all done. So we're going to try and get two things done at once. And hopefully you guys like it. So let's get right into it. Yeah, you can explain something if you want to do some explain if you have anything to say to them. Yeah, that might a little bit. Okay, so my main goal right now, once uh, Tailbilly gets his hood uh, structure off, I'm going to use the reference lines, but I'm going to try a different technique that actually allows me to keep both of these cuts parallel because I forgot the chop saw at home. So we're going to get you in a better position and we're going to put off the chop saw. Let's go. Last little bolts get the hood out of our way. There. There. There we go. Put it out of the way. Sheet metal and cutting. Yeah, I'm just about to start on the on the hood and everything here. Get all these all the supports on this done and then hard knock motos and my buddy Dustin there is going to be starting on the frame. Let's go, let's send it. Uh, do you want my uh, floor jack underneath so it doesn't buckle on you? No, not yet. I gotta get all my cuts in line before. The straighter, the better. Yeah. You already cut the frame once. Oh, you're cutting the wrong line. You're supposed to cut on this side. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Got to bug him a little bit. Okay. Very good. Good cuts, okay, all we got the frame cut in half now. I'll show you guys that. Swing, swing, swing. Yeah, it used to be one frame. It used to be one frame. Now it's two, eh? Yeah, eh? Real Canadian, oh, eh? Yeah, buddy. Eh? Oh. Ready to zoos it up now here soon, eh? Zoos it. Zoos it. Okay, well he's doing that. I got this bar cut. I'm about to get that all level in there and get that all straight and get that all tack welded in there. 
we'll cut this up. Before we get too far ahead, I want to know exactly how many inches, not two, three, seven, seven, three. I didn't know the exact number. Okay, I'm thinking about, what about that piece? I'm thinking, grab the tape measure there, Dustin. Right. How does that look? How long does that look? That looks pretty good, eh? Yeah, that four, five. So let's go five. Just under five inches. Let's go five inches even. I like even numbers. Even numbers always work better. How many inches are in this? Katie, my level. That's probably where these two cuts and where these two lines are. That's probably where we are. Measure the whole unit. 16 inches. Just over 16. Alright, so we just need to make a new one here, here. Because yeah. these aren't five, these are four inches, so. Okay, I'm gonna get my, uh. You know, you guys aren't even seeing me. Sorry about that. The face in the camera there. I'm gonna get my welder set up. I'm just gonna do a tack on the bottom here, get it all straight, and then I can uh, do it to my tacks. Hey, where's the Sharpie at? Or it should be up there. Sharpie. Sharpie. I never thought we should be using this uh, for your welder, right? Eh? This plug in. Oh, yeah. That's what I always use for, for my welder. Oh. There's a pen here. There's a Sharpie up there. Where? In my pocket. Oh, oh that's my bait. Oh. Both have time, man. Both have time. In my pocket. I had a hole in my pocket, it was sticking through the hole. Okay, where's my gloves? Oh, I want a mission so I get these burger starts. Yeah. Right here. Gloves, gloves, gloves. There's my gloves, right there. Okay, I'm just gonna do a tack on the bottom here and then get it all uh, level and then I'll go from there. Okay. All right, eyes. Eyes. Drop it. Oh, three. Oh, you got the 
Take my drawer open. knowing I'm going to get slag in my hand. Mm -hmm. oh, snip, snip.
Oh yeah, I got that one bar uh, welded on. I'll show you guys in a minute. Our knock is started on the frame now. He started welding on the frame, so that's getting started. You guys see? Got that all welded. Now I just need to go my uh, sheet metal, get that all tacked in there, and then this will be coming, coming along good. And I'll hand the camera over to Hard Knocks here. He's working on the, the frame right now, the most important thing. And yeah, you leave it to me. I don't know what's going on and what you're smoking, but. Well, I'm smoking that good cannabis, you know. Smoking that good, what's going shit there? So I'll leave the camera on here, I'll let you guys hand the camera over to Hard Knocks here. I gotta run away from the camera here quickly here. Get so the food yours. going, just get the food going. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go make some burgers. Okay, so like I was saying, I'm working on the uh, frame at the moment. I'm gonna start with the uh, smarter side, get the leg extensions welded in first. Obviously these uh, gussets are all beveled, ready for a good deep penetrating, penetrating weld. I'm liking this stuff a little bit more in my frame because it's literally just straight edges versus a lot of bands and turns. So we're gonna get this uh, neck and strong. Uh, I'll make a few passes and we'll get on to the other leg. Oh, you want to come here? Here we go. Okay, just so, Yeah, you're good. Got it. We finish our uh, 60 root passes all the way through. She straight, squared off. Maybe this came in like a champ. Now we're gonna run our 70 rod and just cap it all. Give it a little more structural sound. Oh, I get back to you once I get the last bead in. Here and here. 
anymore at this point. Not anymore. Let me attack. I'll move that level out of the way. Let me attack. I, uh, you want to start lowering that jack? You want to wait until the pouring is okay. Stand by. Stand by. Start, okay, start bringing it up. Okay. We're gonna finish two feet on the top and now we'll start working on the sides. That French always on that whole slide. And here we are with a nice five inch stretch on the Jacobson. It's going to look really cool once we get it all cleaned up. And we're just probably put the camera on the charger here and we'll get back in a little bit. Oh, a nice steely tank too. Oh. So that's the pump, by the way. Oh no, that's the gauge. The gauge. Gas gauge. Wow. It's nice and shiny. Anodized ram. Filter. Oh, and all the hardware, hardware. The, the for the installation. Yeah. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. How did we build that to fit this gas thing? We didn't even know the measurements. <laughs> Shit happens for a reason, I guess. Fuck, that was a good buy. That was a fucking tight fit there, bud. 
Hi right, everyone, okay, it's day two. We're back working on the 1967 Jake's and Chief. My buddy uh, Hard Knock Motors is back over today uh, to help me finish up the welding on the frame. Once he's done the welding, then I'm going to clean all the welds up and, and I'm going to take it over from there and he's going to continue on his bike. That is right behind us that you guys might see later in the video. Thank you again for letting me use your shop and like you said, uh, our reason why we had to cut the project short yesterday because I ran out of welding rod. So I got a few pounds of it from Home Depot and we can get this all zoosed out, ready to rock and roll for a uh, paint and primer. Oh yes. Okay, so round two. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and let's get into it. Remember, November, get your poppies. Okay, I, uh, our Knox is done with the frame there, so I took over and I got it all grinded down nice and clean. It actually looks really good. Now we just gotta do our top plate on there. But I figured I'd uh, turn on the camera and show you guys how it looks. Let's grind it down before we even go any further with it. So you guys see the step-by-step -step process. And then uh, something else coming in the mail for the tractor today. So I'll also show that on the camera. So I'll give you guys a little... I don't mind moving the camera again. I'm supposed to move the camera around. Yeah, no, but I always like to apologize to the audience. So it looks like one solid frame again. It almost made my weld look good. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. All these frames in the way. Mm. So up next is we have ourselves an unboxing for the next gizmo. Wire harness. And our headlights. Light bulb for the wind, boys. So that LED hydrogen this should theory fit right in there. That is going to be like that. Oh yeah, we got it. Yeah, we're good. Okay, everyone. I think that's going to be a video for today. We got the framing done. We we got the frame stretched. Uh. The tractor's looking a lot different. It doesn't even look like the same tractor anymore. I'm happy, really happy. And with took some Viagra and got it wrecked, and now she's stretched. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now she's ready to go. And I do really appreciate Hard Knock Motos. If you're coming to give me a hand today, I really appreciate that. I also appreciate you letting me use your shop to weld up my frame. Oh, yes, anytime. That video you... coming out shortly, too. Oh, yes, and you know, I showed a glimpse of his uh, chopper build. In, uh, in this video here, but if you want to see the full builds, the full videos, go to his channel, Hard Knock Motors, and subscribe. Hit that like button, show him the support, mm -hmm. and uh, follow him on his journey with his with his chopper build because it's going to be one of a kind too. Oh yeah, and also like button for him. Check out, make sure you subscribe to him and uh, ring that notification bell so you won't be uh, missing out on any updates. Our uh, uploading schedule has been sporadic. Mm -hmm, it has. We have our personal lives we have to deal with and everything like that. So the more you uh, subscribe, the more you comment, the more we get our uh, the algorithm to accept both of our uh, channels, the more time we can actually start investing into the, our videos for you guys. So it's really key that you actually share these videos, like these videos, comment and comment and comment and help and hell subscribe. That's going to be the biggest thing. And guess mm -hmm. what? It's all fucking free. Ain't going to cost you none. No. <laughs> and the support goes a long way. Yes. Yeah. And it keeps us motivated, keeps us going, and you guys will be surprised because we're going to do these builds right this time, and we're not going to fuck around. Yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and until the next one, you guys all take care. Cheers. Long live old school.